Michael Jordan, uh, your close friend, you were one of the first college coaches to really get excited uh, about Michael. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think you saw that others missed? Well, everybody missed, and we would have too, but I just saw him on a Sunday afternoon, and I thought, oh my gosh, this may be the best six foot four inch high school player I've ever seen. But none of us, Dean Smith, Bill Guthrie, Jetty Fogler, Roy Williams, knew that he was going to be Michael Jordan. Right. But he was just uh, gifted, but he had a desire that was different from everybody else. He told me he wanted to be the best player ever at North Carolina. I said, well, you've got to work harder than you did in high school. And he said, I worked as hard as everybody else. I said, excuse me. I thought you told me you wanted to be the best. You have no chance, no chance. And two days later, he came back and said, I want to talk to you and said, I'm going to show you nobody will ever outwork me and nobody ever has to this day. What do you think made him unique? That desire. There's guys on a street corner that can run and jump. There's guys playing basketball that can shoot. There's guys doing so many things and there are great players, but nobody's great as Michael Jordan was. That expression, the GOAT, greatest of all time. He's the GOAT and I've watched a lot of basketball <laughs> 71 years. Nobody's done what Michael Jordan and his desire, his passion, his focus, his work ethic, his competitiveness. Oh my gosh, it's off the charts. Tell about this rivalry on the golf course that you guys have. Uh, he's, I used to be able to beat him. He beats me to death right now. But oh, we, does he? Oh yeah, he's, he's. You have more time to work on your game well, now too. We haven't played since I retired. Ah, now, okay. Come on, I'll, I'll have a chance to hopefully next spring uh, after I have my second knee replaced, I'm going to try to uh, work on my game and see if I can get. Uh, when I left high school, coach, my handicap was a three. And for 45 years, I've been able to keep it in single digits in the summer. But this summer, at 71, it took me until August to get it to single digits. So I've got to go back to work. What's this I hear about a motorcycle he gave you? Yeah, he. Uh, we were at an auction, the charity auction, Jimmy V Challenge. and. Uh, He's always been great, and Wanda is a great, great cook, and she used to fix him from fried, fried shrimp. And he came in and sat down at our table because he said he hadn't seen me in almost a year. And they bring this Harley in, vroom, vroom. And Wanda said, you can buy me that motorcycle to me. And Michael said, do you ride a bike? And I said, she's never ridden a bike in her life. And uh, she said, well, I could learn. And Michael said, I'm going to buy you that bike. And my wife almost, no. And it was, it was unbelievable. But he sat there in an auction, Charles Barkley's across the room and he's over there bidding and Michael gave him the sign to stop and he was buying it for Wanda. And so he bought her a motorcycle, we still have it. Tell the story about his dad I installing a, a wood, oh, yeah. wood stove, stove at mm -hmm. your house. I was still the part-time assistant, wasn't making very much money, but we had bought a house January 24th of Michael's senior year in high school. Uh, I had talked to Mr. Jordan and told him I was going to buy a wood stove. So he called one night and said he was coming up and he had me a stove. And I said, great, you know? And so we came in, it was heavy. We get it out of the truck and put it in and start it and it works. And I said, Juan, to get the checkbook. And he said, what for? I said, I won't write you a check. He said, if you write me a check, I'm taking it out and putting it in my truck. He says, this is, I made this for you, I, I built this. I said, you built it? And he said, yeah, I built this for you. And uh, I was just blown away. And then uh, we moved to another house and uh, it had bigger. Uh, so Mr. Jordan came over and measured it again and built me a second one. So Michael's dad was great, one of the most well-known, you know, efficient, hardworking guy, loyal to a core, just, and his mom was great too. Dolores was special, but James Jordan was a hero of mine.